Hi, this is Tracy H. Dean. I want to thank you for joining me today for another daily energy and guidance reading. And we're going to be using the Work Your Light Oracle cards again by Rebecca Campbell and artwork by Danielle Noel. And you can use this as a pick a card reading, card one, two, or three, or you can use this as a blended reading with all three cards for today. Even though today is February the 23rd, uh, you can use this as a timeless reading. So whenever you see the reading is when it's meant to be. And as I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all angels, light beings, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And for the beginning, card number one, we'll take a card from the top. Card two, we'll take a card from the center. And card three, I'm going to take the bottom card. Okay. So for those of you that picked card number one, it says birthing a new age. And look at how beautiful this card is. And I love this, the rocks going around, these stones, river stones they look like. Kind of looks like the sacred circle I have in my backyard that I constructed. It's a beautiful, beautiful area, meditation area that I have out back here. Um, and instead of the stones, I have, you know, stone pavers, flat pavers uh, forming a sacred circle. And it says, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. And it is. It's a time of awakening. It's a time of, um, in, I don't even know how to say it. It's, it's a very exciting time. Let's put it that way. It's a lot of people may still be sleeping. Uh, a lot of us are awakening. A lot of us are well on our path. And this card is just telling you that, you know, things are changing around us, okay? And nothing stays the same. And a lot of people are fearful of change, but change is good. I mean, we don't want to stay the same and remain stagnant. Uh, we want to grow. And it reads here, often our path is exactly the one that we don't feel prepared to walk. Walk it anyway. Often what is rising feels far bigger than we could possibly hold. Be a container for it anyway. Often our creations seem to have a wild, uncontrollable consciousness of their own. Birth them anyway. Often what is ours to do is the very thing that most intimidates us. Be courageous and do it anyway. We are birthing a new age. Right now we're in a transition period between ages in the process of allowing the old cycle to fall away and the new one to rise. Like driving in the fog and trusting the road will appear ahead, we need to release old identities and ways that no longer serve us using our intuition as a compass. You are part of a group of souls who've been incarnating at significant periods of history, preparing for this exact time, dreaming a new world into being. Magdalene sisters, daughters of Isis, Essenes, priestesses, witches, mystics, healers, seers, artists, midwives, visionaries, guardians of the earth, and storytellers from the past. It is time to give permission and space for what is beckoning within to be born. We are dreaming a new world into being. And yes, we may be fearful. We may not know what our next step is because nobody really has the answers. We're just going along each day and doing what feels right along this path. And then the next card, card number two is Inner Temple. And it says, devotion, tune in to the portal of your heart. And it's a gorgeous card. This entire deck is a beautiful, beautiful deck of cards. And originally I did not, you know, connect with it. I've had it for like about a year. And then all of a sudden I, I just had this feeling that I should pull it off the shelf and start using it. And so that's what I've done. And I'm glad I did because these messages have been so powerful and they resonate so well for what we're all going through. And it says you are being called to be a devoted student and tune into your heart to incorporate true devotion into your life. You could be being called to develop a regular meditation, journaling, or chanting practice, or to show up to your soul with rhythm, to develop a daily practice where you fill up your well and spend time with your soul. All the answers to all of the questions that you seek are waiting for you in the portal of your heart. 
but you cannot hear them unless you carve out time each day to listen. Your soul is yearning for a deeper relationship with you, and so the more time you spend with it and show up to it, the more clearly it will guide you. We are here to grow as souls. Earth is one big playground for the soul to learn, and you are being called to go deeper in your soul growth on, or to increase your devotion by being a student of a lineage or a spiritual teacher. If you have already been a committed student, then you are being commended for your devotion. Your guides want you to know how proud of you they are and that the time you spend in devotion is priceless. If you're questioning your career or life path, your guides want you to turn your focus towards devotion and this prayer. Please use me in a way that delights my mind, body, and soul. May my life be one big moving prayer. So yeah, so this is getting some quiet time. Okay. This is going to like maybe daily meditation, maybe sitting down and, and, and journaling on a daily basis, um, getting some time to go within, uh, to quiet down your mind from the hustle and bustle. And I know some days are harder than others to find time to do that. But when you're the busiest is when it's most important to do that. And to go within, um, I find making these videos very therapeutic for me. I mean, I start out my day like this each day. This is something new that I've added to my routine uh, by doing these daily instead of pre-recording them. It just seems perfect, you know, to start my morning off like this. And, and those of you watching, uh, maybe you've had this as your daily practice too, that you're watching these videos each day to start your day off. And uh, these messages are, you know, what we need. This is exactly what we need to do. It's a quiet time. It's a, a form of meditation. Uh, it's a form of, uh, how could I say, slowing down and, and just being in the moment. Very beautiful card. And then the third card, the last card is the Age of Light. It says you've been training for this for lifetimes. And I love the colors of this card. And it's just so uplifting. And she has her hands above her head. And she just has this look of peace on her face. Uh, and it, it's just a, a gorgeous, gorgeous feeling. And that's true. We have been training for this all our lives. And we're all here to take part in what we are meant to do, what our life's purpose is. And a lot of us out there, if you don't know what your life purpose is, there's no need to worry. Don't get anxious or, or you know, have anxiety over it because it will become clear to you. It will become clear to you sooner or later you know, what your purpose is. And let me see what the book says about this card, because this is a very important message, I'm sure, for someone who's watching this. Okay, and... The book reads, mystics and sages throughout the ages have predicted this period in history and you decided to incarnate in the middle of it. There is no mistake that you're supposed to be here at this time of great change. If you ever feel unprepared or daunted by the path that is calling to you, know this, you've been training this for lifetimes. You're way more than the days that have breathed through you in this life. You're also all of the lifetimes that came before all of these experiences have polished your soul into the most magnificent expression that is your authentic self. Your soul has many facets. Imagine a fingerprint. Your soul is a million times more intricate than that. If you put together all of the fingerprints of all of the people you have been, you would not even get close to fathoming how much of the unique masterpiece you are. You came in with a clear soul plan. You came in with wisdom beyond your years. This is part of you that longs to be seen. This is a part of you that is ready to step forward, that is ready to emerge. This is not the lifetime to stay hidden, but to step forth, be seen, and rise. So, yeah, so if you're not sure about what it is you're supposed to do, okay, just be in the moment. Signs and synchronicities will appear, and you will just get a feeling. You just will have an intuition about it. Um, that will tell you exactly, you know, what direction to go, what changes to make. These are very beautiful cards today. 
If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.